We start by identifying our landmarks, including the EHL and the metatarsal phalangeal joint with medial and lateral portals identified. Once inside the joint, we can see the proximal phalanx in the metatarsal head, as seen here. We then begin to debride using a shaver. In this particular case, you can see the cartilage has significant injury. We begin to shave and take down the thickened synovitis. This is working dorsal, medial, and then working our way around the metatarsal phalangeal joint, taking this down and back to a stable base. I oftentimes go back and forth between a shaver and a small electrical cautery to establish hemostasis as we continue to shave. In this case, we can see that the central third of the articular cartilage is already denuded down to a stable base. This joint has end-stage arthritis. Small articular cartilage pieces can be seen floating throughout the joint, again indicating the late stage of this particular patient. A small elevator can be used to elevate the tissue from the dorsal osteophyte. All right, so you get your elevator in there and you can actually take your elevator and make sure that dorsal capsule is off of the dorsal uh, chyle, which allows us to be able to debride this and take that bone spur down and it adds to a level of safety on your MIS Dremel. Once the burr is inserted, I continually keep a visualization on it utilizing the dorsal medial viewing portal. As you can see here, we slowly work the burr over the top of the osteophyte. I prefer the flat elongated burr, which allows me to polish the top and slowly work in small circles as seen here to take this down one layer at a time, ensuring we do not over recess the metatarsal head. And again, utilizing the arthroscopy allows direct visualization and to make this a tapered debridement. Per the established literature, we minimize this to less than 30%. As we're performing our dorsal chylectomy, we frequently stop and take the joint through a range of motion, performing a dynamic examination. This allows us to see if there's any points of impingement or areas where soft tissue may still be caught up. We also visualize the metatarsal head to see if we've taken it down to our 30% or if we've finished taking it down to a stable base of the articular injury. Oftentimes, we'll place a small shaver back in the joint to remove any bony debris or bony slurry that is residual from the MIS burr. That's another note that you'll see is that the burr does not impede or impinge on any soft tissue. We find this to be relatively safe and we have had minimal complications secondary to the burr. And any impingement that does occur, we can see this under direct visualization, stop and reassess quickly. Another advantage of using the arthroscope. These C-arm images demonstrate our post-debridement chylectomy taking down approximately 30% of the head, giving us a full debridement, all arthroscopically. After we finish our debridement, we place the scope in the dorsal portal. We then take it through another dynamic examination through the full range of motion. We evaluate for any areas of impingement or soft tissue we may have missed, and this gives us another opportunity to evaluate the joint and see if there's any areas for further improvement. We hope this video helps you in your practice. Thank you.